Hi, I'm Joseph Kern, Instructional Designer at Emporia State University. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start talking about Orasma Studio, which is a, an augmented reality studio where you can build things that overlay images or uh, websites or videos or 3D objects on top of a static image or something that you see in real life. Basically anything you can scan with a mobile device. Uh, I think a really good use of this is let's say you have the best textbook ever. It was written in 1945. So it doesn't really have access to all of the new things that are out there as far as videos. But you don't want to go with those resources and sacrifice the wonderful stuff that's in here like how to uh, use carcinogens to treat your crops without any facial protection, things like that. So Orasma will allow you to bring in the new resources that you think are really good and put them into an older textbook. So to see what this looks like, uh, we're going to use my iPad to scan this book. So we go to the Orasma app, which flips it portrait style. And with this, I can scan the book, it reads the image, and pops up, instead of just a static picture of grafting trees, uh, I can actually see it in action. Flip to the next page, we have another image come up. Uh, I can double tap this, take it to YouTube, and watch it there. Flip a couple pages. In this case, it's going to take me to a website. I can double tap that. It actually navigates me to that URL so I can scroll through here, read information from online through a 1945 textbook. You can also use your camera in these images too. So in this case, uh, I have an, an image that's overlaid. If I tap on it, it now activates the camera and puts it over there so I could see what it would look like if I had an apple tree hanging out by my window. And then finally the the really cool thing is you can put a 3D object coming out of your book. So this is just a standard Orasma thing and as long as it can still scan the picture accurately if it can tell where it is it will show this 3D image that you can move around. So how we can make this happen. At studio.orasma.com, you can log in. It's just the standard sign-up process, and it's free. Uh, they make their money off of magazines and corporate stuff, and so educators get to use this for free, which is really cool. Uh, when it opens up, it's defaulted to open up this help thing, which if you don't want to watch the rest of the videos, don't. Just go through this tutorial. It, it makes it really simple to show how to do the trigger images and the overlays and channels. Basically, this is the order. And these uh, next videos that I'm going to show walk you through each of these steps. So if you're ready to see how this is built, uh, watch the next set of videos to see how each step is done. Uh, if not, just hop in and see what you can do.